Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yes, the weekend edition, Friday, July 12th through Sunday, July 14th. Yes, July is quickly rolling on, guys. We are almost halfway through the month, then August, and then fall is not far away. Oh, boy. Anyway, <laughs> let's enjoy the summer while we still have it. Yes? Okay. So please keep in mind that this is a general energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. And keep in mind that I have put back, I have put the readings that I offer back in the description box. So please read through that and at least read through the the readings that are there you don't have to necessarily have one chosen if but like if you're say you are you read through them but you're not quite sure which would best fit your situation when you email me then we can talk about it and i'll help you decide yes Alrighty, kids also keep in mind that this reading or these readings are timeless so whenever you uh, find this reading whenever you come across it and it is resonating for you then that is the right message for you at that time. Traffic is confirming that. <laughs> I don't know if you could just hear that hon horn honking. Okay, anyway, getting into our pre-shuffle energies. So, there is still a bit of active purging going on. We have the Three of Swords, but this Three of Swords came out like this. I want it maybe last week or maybe earlier in the week. I'm not quite sure. But I kind of see this as a, as a more favorable side of the Three of Swords rather than this side. Now, the Three of Swords is about heartbreak, pain. Um, uh, it, typically, people like to say that this is like someone, this is like someone cheated on me, this, the, the, I've been cheated on card. But it, and that could very well be relevant to you and your situation at any given moment. I'm not calling that out specifically. I'm just saying that's what people associate this card with the most. Um, but it's heartbreak. And it doesn't necessarily have to be heartbreak in a romantic relationship. However, that does tend to be the most likely case. Whatever, whatever situation or whatever may have happened in a situation that, may, that has the potential to leave you heartbroken, um, that is potentially the energy of the Three of Swords, okay? On this side of the card, we have the individual, the soldier, who looks like this shield belongs to, um, stopping, taking a moment, sitting down, and observing the shield that has been pierced with three swords. Um, like I mentioned the last time this card came out, it looks like he's survived. Obviously, he's still alive. He's sitting there just kind of reminiscing, reflecting. It's almost an energy of, oh my God, I almost died. Or, oh my God, I can't believe I got through that. Okay? And with the rain falling, even though rain is falling on both sides here, yes, which could symbolize, like on this side, it could just symbolize sorrow and, and forlorn energies and just like abysmal, just the... The, the 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 pits of negative emotions yes here it's still it feels a little same way there's still kind of that that energy of sorrow and regret it maybe even there this card this side of the card actually in my opinion really could um symbolize some sort of regret given the proper circumstances but here the rain also kind of feels like it's a cleansing and a healing aspect because of the fact that this guy is looking back on his shield in some sort of thought process okay so with all that said the purge still continues all right so f f now for some of you you are going through that heavy purge that i that i kind of experienced last week or um and if this is out of context for you i would say check the readings for the week of first of july starting the week of the first of july um Depending on how it resonates, you may want to watch all of the readings up until now, you know, from, starting from the first, because it does seem like there was some sort of progression of a storyline. Um, and also, I, I mentioned that you may be going through it now, because I do tend to 
to feel things ahead of time. Um, as a channeler and as like a guide here, that helps me understand the energies so that I can then bring the messages to you guys to help you better understand them. It does leave me in a bit of a precarious position a lot of the time because I don't always have <laughs> someone to talk to about it. But hey, it's okay, I can handle it. Um, so you might be going through that. Others of you though, this might be a deeper level of purging now that I'm feeling. Um, and yes, still associated with that certain energy, but now it, it may just be going deeper into more central core um, uh, wounds that need to be cleansed, flushed, and whatnot. You have the two of pentacles. I do, honestly, I want to say that I do feel like you're doing well with this. I do feel like you're keeping things in balance. You may be having to save face here or there. You may be having to slap on a, a smile when you're not necessarily feeling it, but you know what? It's okay. You're getting through it, all right? On the other side here, you have the seven of wands in reverse. Now, the side of the card here Oh, well, actually, you know what? Well, okay, I'm thinking of it this way, and so this is how it's coming out, so I'm going to say this. Now, the side of the card here, it looks like... Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so in this side, you have someone here who looks like he's somewhat king of the hill. Um, he's holding seven wands. He kind of has a smile on his face. You know, he feels he might be feeling victorious. Um, he might be... I don't know. I don't know. Let's not get too much into that. But on this side here, you see a, a battle scene almost because you can see there, there are helmets now strewn everywhere. There are shields strewn everywhere. And he looks like to be the last man standing. That could very well be why he was um, smiling, yes? Um, but it came out in reverse. Like this. To me, this is speaking to a purge of a really, f I want to say a fight or flight attitude, a uh, super defensive attitude. Um, I, I, I guess this could be the Seven of Wands, but I'm getting an energy of like someone being in such a fragile state and such a volatile state, I guess, for lack of a better, for lack of a better term, that um, they would just really just lash out at someone or something very, very easily. I'm kind of getting an image of um, a wild animal that has kind of been injured and is now trapped and feels to protect itself. Not to say that you're a wild animal, but, <laughs> but still, we do have an animalistic nature to us. We are, basically we are animals, um, even though we're humans, but still, anyway. Um, uh, there's a rejection of this, or not a rejection per se, but a release of this energy here. And that's all because you're, there's, there's finally an energy of facing some sort of heartbreak, pain, or fear. And a lot of this extreme defensive nature that is represented here by the Seven of Wands has to do with the fact, uh, a lot, heavily, Spirit is saying, with the fact that something just wasn't being looked at. Something just wasn't being handled appropriately. And appropriately, and by appropriately, I mean face it and feel it so that you can release it and heal from it and forgive and release resentment, specifically is what I heard there, release resentment. Now, I also want to mention, underneath this Seven of Wands here is the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? Um, and to me, this is, this guy, oh look, oh no, okay. To me, this guy is, um, this just feels like you're riding off, you're looking off into the distance and um, maybe making your plans on how to approach something or you're just going the distance, you're traveling, you know, you're just traveling on and you're slowly but surely getting through it, yeah? Slow and steady wins the race, guys. You got to take this one step at a time. One step at a time. And also, um, in that Knight of... Did I say Knight of Wands? Knight of Pentacles. Whatever. Um, in the Knight of Pentacles energy, it was a nighttime scene, and all of the stars that were in the sky are kind of giving me an energy of the faith of the star, the actual official star card, which is about 
all about having faith. Um, whatever it is, I'm feeling this pretty strongly, so I want to say this. Whatever it is, this deeper level of purging you are doing, yes. Oh, yes. The Eight of, the eight of Swords just wanted to come out in reverse. Whatever it is that you... Um, that you're this deeper level of purging is you just have to have faith because literally everything is, I'm hearing I'm hearing this be said right now as I'm channeling it obviously I'm channeling it but whatever you get what I'm saying um oh damn it now I lost it uh oh everything is aligning exactly how it needs to be all right so you just the universe is saying you just have to have faith in us that you can in fact release yourself from this sort of mental prison um there is uh, a deeper end of this purging right now is uh, a sort of mental construct that is no longer serving you or probably anyone else for that matter is what I just heard okay take that as take that as it resonates now with that said no one here the universe is definitely not asking you to go around and start actively trying to change minds um, without their free will. I mean, that never really, when you try and force a change on someone's mindset, that never really ends well. Um, you, but so you just have to, you just have to let it happen naturally, okay? Yes. Yes, in deedly do dot, deedly do dot D. Alrighty. <sighs> I'm gonna give this three shuffles. And then we're gonna get into the official message for the day. Last shuffle here. Oof, all right. Here we go. Oh look, there's the seven of wands again. And it's still reversed, and it's this side facing you. I, but still, this to me is just saying that extreme boundaries, extreme rigidness is being released. That's what that's saying. Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of July 12th through the 14th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, I just want to say, guys, that I almost said 2017 again. Like, I have to, I had to consciously keep myself from saying 2017. <laughs> so, yes, a lot of the purging that's happening right now has to do with that catalyst, catalytic situation of 2017, potentially. All right. Five shuffles in total. For our weekend edition... Friday, July 12th through Sunday, July 14th. That was, whoa, okay. We're gonna try that again. Shuffle number three, there we go. Two more here. Friday, the 12th through Sunday, the 14th. All right, here we go, last shuffle. All right, kids, let's see what we got for our weekend edition. Best messages, please, Spirit, for our weekend. What would you like to discuss with us today? another pass but so far we have the three of pentacles and it is upright this is a good thing all right um yeah there's definitely brand new life coming through here 
because if you could see, as you can see, this rose at the bottom of the card definitely symbolizes new life, a new beginning, um, self-mastery for sure, for sure. And that's what the Three of Swords was speaking to, facing your fears, facing your emotions, facing your heartbreak, and allowing it to improve you, fortify you, strengthen you, instead of continuing to allow it to hold you down, okay? Let's see what else we get here. My eyes are closed, by the way, so that's why I'm not saying anything as these cards are falling out. All right. We're gonna stop there. Oh, shoot. Well, hot damn. <laughs> well, hot damn, look at this. All right, so, yep, all right. So we have overall energies here. We have the Six of Cups in reverse, and we have the Ace of Wands, upright, okay? So inspiration is striking. I mean, this uh, with this Ace of Wands in reverse, all right? Um, and this is almost, I, I, I kind of see this depiction of the Ace of Wands as somewhat of a tower moment. Uh, like this is like a minor arcana version of the tower moment, at least in this deck because of this lightning that's striking, this lightning that's bringing inspiration, but it's bringing a sudden change. Look, it's striking that tree and now that tree is on fire, right? Whereas on the, in the tower, the, the lightning or the divine wisdom or the in, in, insight, information, inspiration, however you wanna say it, is striking the tower and it's destroying the tower, okay? So here, this is some sort of creative Inspiration, creative spark, a new realization. It's fiery, it's passionate, but it has the potential to really destroy some of the established way of thinking, some of the established way of being, just or even just destroy a, a, anything really in its vicinity that would not be, what I'm seeing is that it's not conducive to the energy that's coming in. Whatever is around in the surrounding area within the vicinity of this lightning strike here, this inspiration, this spark of creation here, that is not in alignment, that does not flow well, that would not give to the survival and thrival of this new inspiration is destroyed or has the potential to be destroyed, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I do feel some of you are kind of like, oh God, oh God, we have to stop this at all costs. But no, there's a reason why this is coming through. And it's most likely because whatever is surrounding that would not be conducive to this new way of thinking, this new creative vision, this whatever this Ace of Wands with this lightning strike represents for you, it's probably not good for you anyway. Again, this is very, it feels very much like a tower energy, okay? You have. Judgment again, and it's the same side that came out yesterday. This is redemption here, all right? You have the king and the queen of swords. This is a balanced energy, all right? There really isn't much emotion involved here. There's little to no emotion involved here, which actually is exactly where one would need to be when dealing with this creative spark. This is literally saying, all right, guys, look. And also, look, in the King of Swords here, you have more lightning strike on the other side, all right? But here we have both. Both of them are upright and are facing forward, okay? So we can see their faces. So they're facing us. They're balanced. They're here healing us. They're trying to help us from a logical standpoint, from a logical point of view. You could even see the... The, the lightning strike in this Ace of Wands as the energies of the King and the Queen of Swords coming in and making cuts that need to be made in order for this redemption, in order for this self-mastery to take hold, to take place even, all right? And then finally, you have the Three of Cups. Lots of threes here. Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and now Three of Cups. Three of Cups here is a celebration is an offering, it, it, it's like, to, in this sense, well, 
in both sides of the card, but really here what I'm picking up specifically, the Three of Cups in this deck does have an energy of giving thanks, being grateful, okay? Showing, um, showing gratitude, okay? And in this case, this is showing gratitude for the strength you've been given to release the things that you need to release, okay? The foresight, the balance between masculine and feminine, the balance in mental, between, uh, in, in your mind um, to see clearly, to understand, to see this spark of infra, in this, this spark, this new beginning with its creative properties and also its destructive properties and still be able to flow with it, still be able to understand it, still be able to to be grateful for the new life or the new experience that it brings into your into your reality. I'm just going to throw this out there because I'm feeling it. I don't really know where it's coming from. Oh, also I want to talk about this 6 of cups. Oh, it's coming from here. I'm feeling some sort of relationship energies coming in some from somewhere. And it really could be, well, it is in the Six of Cups, and I actually, I do want to talk about that. But it also could be in this Ace of Wands. This can be that spark, that moment where, like, you meet somebody. All right, you, you're kind of a, what, well, they're cute. Okay, whatever. But you're not really, like paying attention you're not checking for them like that you're not really checking for anybody like that to be honest but then all of a sudden in this interaction with this person all of a sudden you feel that spark between the two of you uh-oh here comes trouble <laughs> that could that absolutely what this could be okay and all right so we're talking about relationships for a second okay and so then the king and the queen of swords jump in and we're like hold up Let's not get too crazy with this. But there's a, there's a process here of redemption, resurrection, self-mastery, and then gratitude and celebration, even union. This is a union card with the Three of Cups. You could see this King and Queen of Swords here as a union, masculine and feminine, but it's a union within. It's also an external union, it could be, but there's work that needs to be done. There, there are steps that need to be taken. Okay, great. Now let's talk about the Six of Cups here in reverse. The Six of Cups on this side of the card, I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna put this like this. On this side of the card, you have these two lovers here or these two kids who are like having fun, interested in each other. I, I mean, this young woman is taking a, a, a dip in the canal and this young man is, they just feel really comfortable with each other. So they have no, there's no problem with them interacting and communicating with each other and you know their day goes on they're having a great time they're falling in love they're this that and the other and then all of a sudden it's nighttime and dad's papa dukes is like uh yo homegirl it's time to get your ass inside <laughs> you know what i mean and it's, it, it symbolizes here getting lost in the moment, getting lost in all the dreaminess and, and, and lost in the high and of, of love and romance and not necessarily wanting to come down and kind of letting your life kind of just pass you by just because you just want to sit in this, this, I am not saying that. <laughs> it, it, spirit is really funny <laughs> they just said to me i'm fine i'm gonna say it because it was funny they just said they that you don't want to come out of this cesspool <laughs> of of love and just 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 gross like so sticky sweet like affection that it's just gonna give you <laughs> diabetes <laughs> you're funny spirit but that's kind of i mean yeah we all know those moments where you're just like so, you're so enamored. You're just like so caught up in the moment that you literally just, everything could just, like the world could end around you and you really just wouldn't care. Well, here's the thing. It came out in reverse, okay? And it came out as this side in reverse, which I'm taking as a good thing because especially with this king and queen of swords energy here also also this hermit energy that's in reverse um, that was underneath the Six of Cups. 
there's a sense of balance and grounding and and responsibility that's saying hold on okay we may feel these feelings for each other but we're not going to allow ourselves to get caught in the headspace we're not going to get allow ourselves to get caught in the bullshit and completely allow the rest of our lives to to slip away from us or like the rest of reality slip away from us and now all of a sudden this this really great spark that we felt between each other and this really awesome feeling that our connection that we kind of on certain levels are quite aware we have with each other has now just been destroyed because we didn't keep up with like the rest of our lives you know what i mean and that's where this king and queen of swords energy is coming in here the self-mastery the redemption i do feel like there's another chance coming through for some of you and it has a lot to do with the inner soul work you've been doing the soul searching your you know the hermit energy the finding your inner light finding your inner guidance walking your own path being on mission being on your own path okay it has so much to do with that and a, a, a lot of, i know i this took a really weird turn into relationships but the energy was coming through so i wanted to talk about it um yeah i just lost my train of thought also but <laughs> uh let's see here There was something else I was going to say, but it has slipped my mind now. But that's okay. I want to move on. I want to move on. Um, we're going to go to the clarification section here. And I'm just going to use, using the Golden Universal Tarot today, I'm just going to get closing messages from the Tarot here. Guidance. Just guidance moving forward. And I don't even want to de de define it in any sort of way other than just guidance moving forward for us. One more shuffle here, please. Spirit, and then your best guidance to close out this reading from the Tarot perspective. And then we'll get into the Oracle card for the weekend. Here we go, guys. Oh, I just saw a Wheel of Fortune, kids. Strength. Yeah, abs this one. Absolutely. Strength here is talking about is talking about what the King and the Queen of Swords is representing. But I do want to mention that strength is that is what's what is representing what the two uh, is speaking to what the King and Queen of Swords represent. But there is there is emotion behind them. That's what I'm feeling. Even though the King and the Queen of Swords want as little to do with emotion as humanly possible in this situation they are guarding some deep strong emotion they are at the front lines to basically guard the heart here okay and oh yes underneath the deck is the queen of wands booyah self-sufficient self-confident sexy fun charismatic fiery as all get out passionate magnetic I mean, can do literally magical, literally magical because of this black cat. That's the symbol. Of that, that's what this black cat symbolizes here. Okay. The, the, and it's, it's perfect. It's perfect that it's represented this way because the feminine is the magnetic. The feminine is the one that uses, we'll say, the spiritual magic or uses magic is usually the magical one. The masculine is the logical uh, the the, the um, physical the physical exertion go getting whereas the feminine is the receptive allowing energy okay we'll get to what that really means in a second I want to get to the rest of this stuff first so far we have yeah we have Leo energy we have Aries energy we have Aquarius and we have Libra excellent we ooh, ooh, ooh. we have capricorn also <laughs> the devil with the page of swords okay we also have ah uh, yes there is that wheel of fortune and yes we are talking about a relationship for some of you two of cups and it's so funny i watch i watch sal every once in a while of um eat read love on youtube he's fabulous by the way I love Sal, and I, I like to watch him just for his entertainment value a lot of the time, just because he's very funny. Um, 
And if you guys haven't checked him out yet, I would recommend him. Um, just keep in mind that he does, um, he does approach his readings from Vedic, sidereal, or Eastern astrology. Okay. Um, it, so if you go, when you go to his, his, his page and you watch his readings, you need to watch the readings from your, from the perspective of your Eastern chart, not your Western chart. And if you would like to calculate that, I have put the links in the description box below to a website that actually does it very, very well. Um, but when I saw, when I thought of the wheel, when I saw that the wheel of fortune came out, I was, I immediately thought of Sal's time prediction. I don't know how to do that. I don't do that i don't really work with time predictions but that's immediate what i immediately what i thought and i and so i say all that to say that i do feel like time is of an s of the essence here even though time is an illusion um i i almost feel like the clock is ticking on the manifestation of some sort of relationship for somebody for some people out there that's something that i'm picking up on okay I, this literally just turned into a relationship reading because these cards here are talking straight up about relationships. But also though, also, oh, that was the pre-shuffle. Um, that was, that could be what's coming through here with the Ace of Wands. And, and you know, the Ace of Wands is a phallic card, okay? So there could be some sexual tension here between you and somebody else. Very strong sexual tension though. This feels healthy. It feels like... I want to jump your bones, but also I want to jump your bones because I am very deeply in love with you. And it probably doesn't make logical sense. Love doesn't make logical sense. You may not know this person very well. You may have only interacted them a hand, with them a handful of times, but for, there's just something about you two. There is just something about you that just lights me up. And I'm getting that the feeling is fairly mutual, all right? Now, okay, we're talking to the feminines here. We're talking to the feminines because this is you, feminines, queen of wands. You are attracting this type of situation here. Why? Because you are doing your healing work. Three of swords. You are releasing your, the, the, your defensiveness. You are putting, you are taking down the extremely defensive and the extremely high walls to guard yourself. Seven of wands in reverse. But also, you are looking at this from an extremely balanced point of view. Not just from the masculine perspective, but also from the feminine perspective. King and queen of swords. You have been working on this, guys. And now they're working in tandem here and they're saying, okay, hold up. Yes, we feel this energy. And yes, look here, page of swords, the devil, you're watching each other, maybe even spying on each other, but not really communicating about what you really want out of fear. Maybe some sort of conformity. So, but you're taking a balanced approach at this for the most part. And working on mastering yourself, okay? It's from this place of self-mastery that this redemption is coming through here. This resurrection, this second chance even. The union, the celebration, right? Strength here is your inner strength. Now, I'm not... I, I, this isn't just the feminines, though that we're talking to here, even though it's coming through as the queen of wands. So I'm get, I, initially I'll pick up and I'll say, yes, we're talking to the feminines because most of my subscribers or most of the individuals in this tarot community here on YouTube are either women or feminine oriented individ individuals. Um, the masculine usually, they are, I'm starting to find that there are men and masculine energies that are coming through and are viewing my channel. Hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but it's really mostly feminines. And, but with that said, masculines, you're doing this too. Why? Because you, you are manifesting this. You are attract, attracting this from like a queen of wands point of view. Why? Because you have also been doing some work to balance the masculine and feminine within you to balance your inner feminine, to, uh, to flow with your inner feminine more, to integrate more of your inner feminine abilities. And thus, 
you are attracting an, a, a partner. It's only a matter of time, guys. It's just really what I'm feeling here. It's really only a matter of time. Wow. All right, kids. So now let's close out this reading here with our Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. To close out this reading, Best message, please, Spirit, for our weekend, July 12th to the 14th, 2019. July 12th to the 14th. Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. There it is. Oh, wow. Didn't this come out yesterday? Goddess Lakshmi and Dendrick Agate. Her golden grace. I, you know, I just love how Morning Coffee has evolved into this straight up story time. Like everything is just flowing together and it's absolutely amazing. Um, hold on guys, I seem to have misplaced my book here. Oh boy, give me a second. Cause you know, my room, you guys, my room is such a mess. <laughs> Like, really, Eric, you need to clean your room. And then maybe you'd be able to find things. I can't believe I did this. Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. There is literally, there's just shit everywhere. And I can't find, there it is. Found it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Card number 38. Yeah, because it was 37 and then 38. Was it yesterday or maybe the day before? I don't know. But I actually kind of feel like I may want to read a little bit more of the card this time. So let's, let's get into this, guys. Her Golden Grace. We bring you the empowerment of Her Golden Grace. Divine Mother Lakshmi, who brings blessings of enlightenment and prosperity, beauty and good fortune, smiles upon you now. Open your mind to the reality of divine generosity without limit. Open your heart to feel worthy of her love. When you allow her to grant you bounty, to bless you with her golden grace, she is empowered to shine her divine beauty in the world, to heal, uplift, inspire, and enchant the souls in need. That's beautiful. Hold on. What's this? I'm... Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, it, I, I'm sorry. I was confused. Um, let's see. Let me see if there's anything else here. Okay. I want to read this one. If you are feeling as though there are limits in your life that you would like to transcend, perhaps in particular any limits you feel regarding abundance, prosperity, and good fortune, and spiritual enlightenment, then you will be open to the message this oracle gives you now. The Golden Mother includes you in her plan to spread the bounty of life throughout the world. As you receive from her, you will be empowered to share her vibrant grace with others. Open your heart to her golden smiling face and allow love, love's abundance to fill your world. If, you're, if in your heart you have felt there are better times ahead, even though you may not have a particular reason for it other than a feeling in your heart, the oracle brings you confirmation. Even if you are yet to realize the touch of her golden grace in your life, you shall do so. The rising sun of her golden beauty shall shine upon you, ushering in a time of love, prosperity, and peace. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, yes. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> have a great weekend, guys. Much love to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.